welcome to my channel. I am Linda and I'm a healer and a coach. And in this channel, I bring you clarity about concepts of practical spirituality and emotional intelligence so you can use them on your day to day to create a joyful and fulfilling life. Today I want to talk about the subject of privilege. And this is not a subject that I had planned to talk about. This is something that is coming up in the heels of everything that is happening in the US. I am recording this in mid-June of 2020 and the protests about the death of George Floyd and well, all of the other deaths of black victims at the hands of the police has become a really, really hot subject here in the US. And over the last few weeks, I've been noticing all of these different things happening on my Facebook feed and on social media. And it's, they are things that I had noticed before, and I, by before I mean years ago, and have been noticing since then, but it has become very, very prevalent over the last few weeks. And that is why I wanted to talk on the subject of privilege. Because I've noticed that there is a lot of reaction from people when they are being told that they have privilege. In this particular case, when they are told that you have white privilege or that's your white privilege talking or something like that, people have a lot of very strong reactions to that. And that is something that I'm not going to say totally surprised me, but I found a little surprising that when someone is told that they have white privilege, that they have a negative reaction to that. So I started giving that a little bit of thought and I started working on it from a spiritual perspective. And there's a few things that came up for me. And I think the easiest way to get into the subject is to start by giving you my definition of what privilege is. And the way that I define privilege is as a benefit or an advantage that one person has over another person or a group. And what is important to understand about that is that from my perspective, privilege is something that is given to you. It is not something you ask for. It is not something you earn. It is something that is given to you. And I differentiate it from something like reaping the fruits of your labor, right? Like if you become wealthy because if you come from a poor family and you work really hard to become wealthy, that to me is not privilege because that is something that you, you personally have to work really hard for. Now, once you become wealthy and you pass that wealth on to say, for example, your children as everybody would want to do, right? They don't have to work for that money. They don't have to work for that st status. So they would then have privilege. So I want to start with that because I think that what I found is from my perspective at least, there seems to be a little bit of a misunderstanding on all sides really. I was gonna say both sides, but there's more than two sides here, right? This is a very, very nuanced conversation. And as I'm saying this, I also wanna be very clear that I am speaking only from my perspective and I'm only speaking for myself. I am a minority and uh, here in the US and because of my skin color, because of my race, uh, my ethnic background, etc. But I also want to be very clear that I am not my, the only perspective I have here is my own personal experience and that of my friends and the people around me and the interactions in the world that the interactions I've had in the world because of that. I am not a historian. I am not a social studies or um, social science expert. I am not a race expert or any of those things. So I want to be very clear about that. And I also want to be clear about the fact that the point of this video is not to offend anybody and not to be insensitive. I just want to share what my perspective is about privilege in the hopes that that helps some people put this into context or in the hopes that allows people that are potentially butting heads to start having a conversation and understanding uh, and have an understanding of the other side's perspective. So with that said, I'm going to go back to my definition of privilege, which again is a benefit or an advantage that one person or one group has over another person or group of people. 
And because of that, it is not something you ask for, it is something that is given to you. It is something that people have usually at birth. If we talk about the example that I just gave a few minutes ago about you know working for wealth and then becoming a wealthy person and passing that on to your children, your children would be privileged because it is not something they worked for. So from my perspective, privilege is not inherently bad. From my perspective, privilege is neutral because it is not something that you're acquiring with the intent to use it against someone else, right? It is something that is given to you. So to me, the privilege itself has no energetic charge. What makes a difference is how you use it. And we'll get into that in a little bit. But I just wanted to start with that because I think what I've noticed in social media is that people seem to take when someone says you have privilege people seem to take that as a personal attack and get very defensive and i'm not suggesting maybe some people are using the, the term white privilege as an attack on someone else on a white person but it, it, i don't believe that that is what the energetic of that term is i do not from my perspective the world the word privilege is completely neutral energetically and the reason that i say that and that i don't believe is inherently bad is because we all have or well not all but most of us have privilege in some way so if we accept the idea that you can have privilege in some areas and not in others right i will use myself as an example i am puerto rican and i am pretty dark skinned so in the united states i am a minority in a lot of different places, I would be considered a minority. However, even as a minority, I have a lot of privilege for many reasons. First of all, I'm a Latin woman that grew up in Puerto Rico, who is a US territory. So just by virtue of where I was born, which actually technically I was born in New York, so I would have been a US citizen anyways. But either way, I'm still Hispanic. I grew up in Puerto Rico. So just by virtue of where I was born, I have a lot of privilege over a lot of other Latin American people because I was able to come and study in the US, do my have my college degree, study my, for my college degree here. And that's not something that is as easily done by people from say Mexico, right? It costs a lot more. It's not an option that is available to a lot of people, right? Unless they're wealthy. But for me, because I am a US citizen, even though I am a minority, I had the privilege that I have really the full range of universities that I could attend to in the US. So even though I am a minority, I have a lot of privilege. So that is the reason why I wanted to differentiate and why I want people to understand that when someone says you have white privilege, that, doesn't, that is not usually an attack. Now I'm not gonna say maybe some people use it as an attack, but in general, it's not an attack. It really is an observation and it's pointing out that there are certain things, certain advantages that you have that are inherent to you, right? That you have that other people do not. And it's very important to understand that that does not mean that you don't have hardships in your life. And that's the one thing that I've noticed that every time someone says, well, you have white privilege, the other person responds with, oh, I've had a really tough life and I've had to work really hard. The fact that you have white privilege is not an attempt to invalidate the other hardships that you've had in your life. And that is another distinction that I want to make. Another thing that I've been hearing a lot is that, you know, I've heard people say that, oh, well, I don't see color. I treat everybody the same and I know what's in my heart. When someone mentions that you may have or that you do in fact have white privilege, that is, again, not an attack on you. It is not talking about how you necessarily treat other people or people who are minorities or people who don't have the privilege that you benefit from. It's about how others treat both of you differently. Is how is basically about 
the fact that you, because you have that privilege, in this case, let's continue to focus on white privilege, someone else, a third party, will treat you and perceive you differently than they may perceive me or a black man, another whatever race, religion, person. So when we talk about privilege, it doesn't mean that just because we're saying that you have privilege, that you are a bad person. Again, I don't believe that privilege is inherently bad. It's not necessarily a reflection on you. It is a reflection of the world that we are living in. So that is something that I think is very important to understand. Now, Again, we are living in really, really mercurial times and, uh, you know, their emotions are running high. So sometimes when people bring up these subjects, and I'm not talking about anybody in particular, just in general, right? We are already at a very heightened state of emotion. So sometimes we get very defensive about things and sometimes even I may say things to someone else that I am trying to convey it in a way that is open and that is respectful and that is um, an inquiry but may come across as an attack and I think that's what we really need to understand that we need to take some time to really get in touch with our emotions and try to respond to the world around us and not react. So again going back to the subject of privilege I, that is the reason why I don't think privilege is good or bad. It's not something you can give up, right? So if whether it's white privilege or wealth, those are, I mean, theoretically, you could give your wealth away, but who's going to do that? I don't think most people would do that. I certainly would not if I had it. And also nobody is asking you to because it's not about you having the privilege. It's not about me having the privilege. It's about becoming aware of that privilege and how we use it in the world so that it creates a world that is more balanced and more supportive and loving of everyone around us, right? So the three points that I want to summarize about this video are that, again, privilege is not something that is inherently bad. Most of us have some degree of privilege in some area of our lives. And that doesn't mean that we don't have hardships in other areas of our lives. The other point is that privilege is about perception. And it is about how two people can be treated differently because how a third person perceives one versus the other. Because how a third person treats one versus the other because one of those two people has privilege. And the last thing and probably the most important thing about this video is that really, again, nothing inherently wrong with privilege, right? It's a, what is important here is that you come to an awareness of those areas where you are in fact privileged and use that privilege to make the world a little bit of a better place, right? You Privilege is something that can benefit you, but if you harness this power, you can actually use it to also benefit people around you that do not have that privilege. And yes, that may be hard to figure out in some cases, right? But for example, somebody who has the privilege of wealth, right? Somebody who was born into a family with money and acquired and has all this wealth that is not something they worked for, they can use that um, to donate to charities, to organizations. They can use that to help people that need it. Um, they can create programs. They can create foundations. They can do all kinds of things, right? So it's not about having the privilege. It's about being aware of that privilege and how you use it to help the people and the world around you. So with that, I think we've come to the end of this video. So what I do want to ask is what is your privilege and how do you think you can use it to make the world around you a better place? So I'd love to hear your comments and your ideas right down in the comments section of this video. And as always, thank you for your attention and until next time, namaste.